everybody. It's the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar. We're going to talk about camping in comics. Let's do this. Boom. We are mixing up. We're mixing up two of the favorite things of the world. Comics and the beautiful outdoors. I love camping here in the giant sequoias. Um, it is breathtaking. You know, videos don't do it justice. You got to come out here and just love it. So let me show you what I bring here as a comic dude um, to bring my show you what's in my knapsack here. Okay, so these are some things I bring. I go light, so I don't like to bring a lot of stuff. For actual comic reading, I might bring a couple of floppies, but I don't bring hard uh, hard covers. I don't bring big trades. I bring this bad boy. This is my paper white Kindle. I love this guy. It's got um, some eerie issues. This is uh, Attack on Titan, some manga. I love this because I love the e-ink. It's light. It does light up. And um, I think the black and white looks really cool on it. So I'll bring this bad boy if I want to read a little bit. Um, or if I want some colored comicsology style stuff, I'll bring the uh, like an iPad mini. But I have to go light. So that's all my comics. I, I might bring a flop here too, but that's it. I'm not going to go hard on that. For art stuff, what I do is I bring something that's, that's usually bendy and small. And this paper here has got a nice tooth to it. And you can uh, it takes watercolor. So I like to do a lot of watercolor when I'm out here. So I bring something like this, and then I'll bring kind of a bigger thing here, which is uh, this guy where I do more kind of uh, bigger pieces. So, um, you know, I'll bring something like this, which I like a lot. So, hang on, little dude. And then uh, as far as drawing utensils, I like to bring a, one small kind of hard thing with some pencils. Or pens and I'm only bringing a couple things here that are that are simple okay my big pencil lead holder I love this guy this is a Kowelko um, German guy this is great I bring one kind of felt tip marker I bring a brush pen so I kind of mimic the brush and then I bring this little Pentel which is a good little all use pen this guy's good so these four gives me all the different types of line types i want i got my sketch pad for drawings i got something bigger if i want to do something kind of nicer and then for watercolor i bring this little guy this is a little windsor newton you can find these everywhere this is this one's a windsor newton one and um it came with tube paints i dry those tubes out i create a little these little like chambers so you can see these little like chambers and i just dry them out so i don't have to worry about the tubes so dry it out, nice Windsor Newton paints. I take this guy everywhere, he's small. All this fits in a small backpack. And then I use these little Japanese brushes because it gives me big big lines, it gives me thin stuff, and you got a lot of control. So I don't bring my S Series 7 sables, none of the fancy stuff, just something that's cheap, easy. There you go, that's all you need for like gear to do drawing and to read. When you go camping, you go light, that's, that, that's it right there. You wanna know how to recreate? You do it just like this. You get the hammock, you set yourself up right here. And let me tell you the hammock, this isn't, I'm not trying to plug, you get an Eno hammock, dude. Eagle's Nest Outfitter. You get an Eno hammock, you set yourself up next to two big old sequoias. You got this meadow here, and guess what? You got your Kindle, which is a rebooting right now. And you sit here, and you read your comics, and you chill, and that's how you love life, and you enjoy. You have some breakfast, and we're gonna do some hiking. So hammocking part of the comics uh camping experience we're here uh doing a little hike today saturday morning in uh cedar grove which is kind of the back end of kings canyon national park right next to Rhodes end which is kind of like a last portal spot that you can go to um hike mount whitney if you've never done that that's a great hike so kind of a drop off point at Rhodes end uh, this is beautiful and this reminds me actually a lot of Yosemite this part because we're in this valley here and you can see uh, We're surrounded by these huge mountains. In fact that one there is called uh, North Dome and looks just like North Dome there in uh, Yosemite Valley 
just having a great time. It's just so majestic here. It's very spiritual here. It's just a, a, a way to kind of like reset and get away from uh, the daily grind of city life and uh, beach life of Ventura. I love it. And you know, I'm working on this book, uh, Shangri-La Estates, which is a trailer park in Arkansas. And a lot of it has to do with some hiking and camping. So uh, this is good research too, just to kind of like be out in the woods, take some sketches draw some uh, people with backpacks, things like that, to kind of get myself in that mindset of uh, a story about this kid backpacking. So uh, yeah, beautiful, good to do some research, good to kind of chill out and uh, do a reset. Always important to do, especially creative people need to reset. Okay, I'm gonna show you a cool hack. This is carameled apple. I ain't spending no $9 on a carameled apple, but I will do this. I'm gonna slice this bad boy up. Apple, Rolo, which is caramel, boom. Hey everybody, it is a Sunday night. Kids in bed. Uh, last night of our, our little trip here. I'm having a great time, just kind of, get, again, getting away from stuff and kind of thinking about some new stories. Spent a little time here by the campfire doing some writing, wrote out a couple scenes for uh, the Nagual story I've been working on, that novel, which takes place in South American jungles, which is different than um, the sequoias, but you know, you get a little bit of that nature feel, so it's kind of nice to kind of feel that. I'm right now getting ready for the, uh, the bear raid that'll be happening tonight. Um, last night we did have some bears come in. It was a cub with the mom came into the campground and caused a ruckus and so uh, now that it's Sunday night a lot of the people have left here at the campsite and so uh, we're one of the few uh, campers left and so the bears are gonna be more focused probably on us and our little bear box full of smelly stuff so I'm not really looking forward to um, the bear conflict tonight the <laughs> the the, uh, the raid see I don't mind a bear. I love bears. I love them during the daytime. I don't like them when I'm cuddled up in my sleeping bag and my jammies and I gotta deal with something rooting around, sniffing around my tent. That freaks me out. And then I gotta get the courage and anger up enough to like get changed, get my flashlight, unzip everything, get out and see what the heck's going on. If I see a bear in the middle of the night close messing around it freaks me out so i ain't looking forward to the raid that will be coming i'm sure um well i got the fire going they're gonna be they're not gonna be around but once this fire dies around you know one o'clock two three
Okay, our comics, we are at the top of Little Baldy Saddle. That is the Great Western Divide. You're looking at right there that separates California from the rest of the world. This is huge. It's massive. It took us a little bit to get up here, and you get to see it all here on the Art of Comics. Check it out. This is it. It's breathtaking. It's fun. And uh, it's inspirational, man. It is just majestic here. And uh, there you go. Okay, everybody, it's Sunday. We are in the giant wood forest, the redwoods, giant sequoias. And it is, again, beautiful, breathtaking. If you guys haven't been out here, you need to come out here. Bring some comics to read. <laughs> Don't worry about the comics. Dude. Just enjoy yourself. Have a good time with friends and family. It is just breathtaking. Um, so this is probably the end of the, the little video here. We're just gonna do short and sweet. You know, you can go look at other videos that showcase this better, but I'm just showing you what I did this weekend. Thanks for watching. Comment, let me know what you think. Let me know some other great hikes that I should. Thank you.